thanks so much for clicking on today's video my name is Andrea also known as Sweetly Jerry here on YouTube and I know you guys are probably like what the heck why is she in a car well I got me a new car Yay! Yay! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, yeah! so I bought my very first car and I'm just super excited I'm so thankful to even say that it's all mine my own money everything I saved up the money and really carefully decided on this car so in this video I'm gonna show you guys all about it hopefully this video is helpful to you guys just in case you are looking for this type of car um, I do want to go ahead and say that this video is not to brag whatsoever I'm just super thankful um, that I was able to purchase this car and I just want to help you know give you guys information about it um, as much as I can I'm not really a car person but I can do my best and also I just want to share this really cool accomplishment with you guys so if you're interested in this video and you want to see what kind of car I got you already know by the title <laughs> just keep watching so guys this is the 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan it is the SE trim isn't she cute really it's a boy honestly and his name is Big Tigger but this is what the rims look like on the SE trim of course I got it in the color black and this is what it looks like from a side view. So it is considered a compact SUV, but it's super big. And this is what the back looks like. Here is the key fob. You have your lock, your unlock, your trunk, and then your alarm. It also comes with this key, but I think it's only used for the trunk. Um, so I really don't have a use for it. And this is just what the key fob looks like. Opening up the trunk, it opens up by itself once you hit that little button. Um, these are the mats that it came with. I just have an umbrella back here, and this is what the trunk looks like. Now, this is the third row seating. It's not big at all, but it is still a third row, so that's always cool. I'm not going to pull it up because I just don't feel like it, but these two seats is considered the third row, and then you have the second row, and then, of course, the front. So this is just an overview. It comes with some cup holders. Um, those are my flats from work. And up under here is a full size spare tire. So that's always cool. And you can always pull this thing. Like if you have groceries and you don't want them to move, um, it, uh, it latches onto that thing right there. So I think that's cool as well. So now on to the fun part, what's inside. Oh, it's so hot outside y'all okay so this is just a quick overview of the car and then I'll go into detail about what I know so far about the car I'm still learning it it's very very new to me and I'm coming from a 1996 vehicle so you already know how outdated I was Okay, so on the driver's side, you have your lock and unlock, of course. This operates your um, rear, like your side mirrors and stuff. You can adjust them. And these are the powered window buttons. And I believe this is child lock. Then right here, you this is just like your lighting system. So like if you're, uh, you could put it on auto so that your lights automatically come on when they need to. And then you have your brights and things like that. Um, and this is what the front of the car looks like on the driver's side. So it has the emblem in the front, the Volkswagen. All of this is like cruise control from what I know. Um, and this powers your volume. And then you have voice command. I don't know what this button is used for, but these also operate this screen. So I'm pressing this and it's kind of like operating that if you can see and then this is just up and down buttons to also operate this it also comes with blind spot rear traffic and front assist I haven't really tried blind I mean I haven't really tried front assist so that basically is like it'll stop for you if you if the car doesn't like detect you stopping in enough time it'll kind of help you stop but I don't think it fully just stops the car for you um, but it does assist with that and then this is where you would change the songs moving on to my favorite part 
Sorry, y'all. I have to film from this angle just because the sun is glaring so you would see like the glares into my lens. Um, so to better help you guys, this is the infotainment system. It's popping, y'all. All of this is touch screen. So you're just able to touch and there's no buttons. That's the voice thing so this just says radio media phone voice and then app sound car and menu of course these buttons operate different things but I, what I love about this is just like I don't know you just have so much control um, over the coolest things and then menu is just like you know the different options you can choose from um, this car does come with Apple CarPlay. I do plan on showing you guys that in just a second. And then down here you have the AC controls. So if my side is at 67, the other person is at low, that is totally, you can totally do that. Um, so each person has the ability to kind of choose what temperature they want their car to be at. Um, it also comes with heated seats. Um, and these are just like defroster. Uh, where do you want the air to blow and things of that nature both front um, seats come with heated seats and then you can also sync so for instance if I'm at 67 or if they're at 60 it can be synced to mine so that's pretty cool it just has the regular um, Prindle thing like PRNDL and then it comes with the emergency brake and then when you have this on, it basically shuts the car off. If like you're at a red light for a long time, it'll shut the car off for you. Um, and that's supposed to save gas. I kind of don't like that just because I feel like I'm just going to be like holding traffic traffic up with the car uncranked. But it's super responsive. Like as soon as you press on the gas, it's ready to go, which is pretty cool. And I for also forgot to mention that this is a push to start. You just hold the brake with your foot and you push to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, as far as the cup holders, um, you have two cool cup holders or whatever, and you have a slot here. You can put, like, sunglasses or lip gloss right there. So, I think that's pretty neat. And then in here, I just have a few things, just like, you know, random stuff. But this is where I keep my cord. It's very deep, so you're able to keep a lot of stuff in here. Um, so, I do like that, but... You cannot like raise it or there's not any additional compartments. It's just you open it and that's that big hole right there. Oh, it also comes with this little compartment right here. So I definitely plan to do some vlogging for you guys. Hopefully, let's see what it looks like when I put it in there. Okay, I'm definitely covered. So I'll probably have to sit something in there to kind of elevate it. Or it can be like this and I can zoom the camera in. Let's see. Yeah, it depends on the lighting. So yeah, it's up here. I'm not really sure what you would put up here on the dashboard. But I personally like it because now I know that I can put my uh, camera in there. And I can start doing car vlogs with you guys. And driving around with me and all that fun stuff. So I have no complaints. So up here you have your mirrors. It comes with the light on each side. Really cool. And the lights up here are also like this white light instead of that yellow light. Now for my favorite part is the sunroof. So the SC trim that I bought come uh, came with the sunroof and it's a panoramic sunroof so it goes all the way to the back so that the people who are sitting in the passenger seats in the back they can enjoy the sky or whatever you guys run into while driving so if you tap this button once it'll open the little visor I love this y'all I literally could not leave the dealership without this feature so I super duper enjoy that. It's just good to have the light shining on you while you're driving. And then if you press the button again. Oh no, it's this one, sorry. If you press this button backwards, that's when it'll open up the sunroof. And when I tell you, it extends halfway. So the people in the back, they won't get to experience like the physical air. Um, they may feel it, but they won't see it. But 
I still enjoy the fact that the sunroof and the glass goes all the way to the back so I just love that feature I'm gonna close it because it's super hot oh not the visor <laughs> the window beautiful beautiful I just love that I just love that so I don't think I showed you guys this part um, it just comes with two USB ports and some other odd like input I'm not sure and then like a 12 volt thing down there as well and so now I'm about to show you guys Apple CarPlay okay guys so this is Apple CarPlay when you plug your phone up into the USB port it automatically um, pulls up Apple CarPlay so everything that's on your phone is pretty much showing on the screen except for a few apps that aren't compatible with this system so like your phone calls your music um, maps the Volkswagen app. Um, you can also listen to audiobooks and podcasts, of course, like if you're driving. And then I can also go into my messages. Um, when the message comes up, like you'll see it come up on the screen, it won't say the actual message, but it'll be like so and so texted you. So, of course, if they let you read the message, that would be a hazard. But it comes with Google Maps, and you can also use Waze on here as well. So I just really think this is so cool. So let me try playing a song for you guys so you guys can hear the system. I know with the video you won't be able to really truly feel what you want, but it's worth a try. <laughs> system and that's what it would look like if you know of course if you had Apple CarPlay um, on the background it's the artwork of that song so I love how that is back there and then on the sides you can kind of toggle between the different apps that you may use so I can go to my messages really quickly and then I can go to go right back to my music then I can go to Google Maps and everything is just right there so I really really love that I really have no use to have my phone hanging up here because my phone is right here so I just really like that so in here is just of course the uh, glove compartment I did not know this when I bought it but it comes with like a CD thing I mean who listens to CDs in 2019 but there could be a few people that actually enjoy CDs or may have an old CD they want to listen to so I think that's super cool this does not take um, DVDs I already looked it up but it does take SD cards and just like a CD that you may have in your collection so let's go to the back of the car oh this is what the review mirror looks like just in case you guys wanted to take a look and again this is the front panel I thought this part open but it does not it's not for your sunglasses or anything this is for your sunglasses so it's just a small little compartment you can put like change in there I just put my glasses in there for the moment and the seats are um, power operated not on the passenger side but on the driver side so that's pretty cool you can adjust it and all that good stuff so now let's go to the back of the car Oh, my lunchbox. I forgot I had that in here yesterday. Okay, so it's so roomy back here. It's amazing. Like, I can't even understand it. But, um, yeah, it's super spacious back here. Right here, you have some air vents for your passengers. And down here, you have a USB port just in case they want to charge their phone. As well as a 12-volt um, outlet as well. Let me move this out of the way. Um, so yeah, this is the seating. It's not really much, but I will show you what this looks like. So as people are enjoying themselves in the back seat, they can look up and they can see the beautiful scenery at the top of the car. Um, I don't have this pool all the way back, but it does go even further. As you can see. 
so yeah guys that is my car i love it so much i am so thankful to have it i can't say that enough i have literally thanked god a thousand times and he was honestly with me throughout this entire process guiding me sending people my way to give me advice um even placing people in my life that were new that just knew what they were talking about and were able to assist me so super thankful nonetheless if you guys like this video please make sure you give me a thumbs up it would really help me out a lot and also make sure you subscribe because i have another car related video coming as far as what's in my car i just placed like a huge amazon order of different little trinkets that i could put in my car that will really help me so i'm gonna do like an essentials what's in my car type of video and that's coming really really soon once everything gets here so if you're interested make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that video just in case the youtube recommendation thing does and let you know that it's out okay thank you so much you guys make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i love you guys so much 